So today I'm very excited. You know, it's one of those videos where this one I'm truly and genuinely excited because I get to try a new foundation. So today is all about the review of the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I first heard about this foundation from a YouTuber friend of mine and I actually collabed with her and her name is Jessica from Everything Proof Beauty. We both have different wants and needs as far as makeup and skincare goes, but we both have oily skins. What I love about this is that it's vegan and cruelty free. So I'm definitely always looking for a more natural makeup product that's gonna be healthier and better for the skin. Let me go ahead and put this clip on kind of keep the hair away from my face. This was actually one of the hot buys during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, so I was able to get this 30% off. But regularly, for one ounce of foundation, it's about $36 from Ulta. So I got this at Ulta. This is kind of like a first impression, and we're gonna do this together. But I will give you guys an update towards the end of this video. You know, I'll check in every couple of hours and let you know how the foundation is doing. It's actually a four-in-one foundation, although it's not very clear or stated on the website, like what are the four? You know, what does it do? There's actually a lot of healthcare benefits to this foundation, which not a lot of foundations can claim that to be. So let me go ahead and read this out to you. Um, what it does, it instantly masks and blurs the look of imperfection. It is a medium to full coverage. It helps protect skin against environmental damage caused by energy and visible blue light. It shields the skin from environmental stressors and pollution, helps smooth the appearance of skin, and refine the look of skin texture and tone. The key ingredients here is that it has ginseng, green tea, vitamin B that helps rejuvenate the skin. It also has lingonberry extract which helps protect the skin against damage. Um, polysaccharide film. It's a breathable film on the skin to help shield the skin from environmental stress stressors. And then the serotonin complex which helps smooth the appearance of skin. Now I've never used a foundation before that also doubles up as a concealer. So I'm really curious about it. This is what the packaging looks like guys And then you open it up and there's a pump right there And if I'm reading this correctly, you can open this cap up And it doubles up as a concealer and there's your doe foot applicator right there So it looks like a very standard doe foot applicator. I am going to apply this foundation with all of the usual skin cares and all of the usual products that I use underneath that I know works for me. That way, if I see any imperfections, I'll know that it's really the foundation instead of the other products. But I'm really, really hoping that this does a good job. Now, normally foundations usually last me four to six hours. I'm gonna go ahead and start with two pumps. And normally, I apply my foundation with a brush first. By the way, I have the color TG3 for this foundation. It looks full coverage, whoa. By the way, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water here on my face. And I also have the Sunday Riley Auto correct brightening and deep puffing under my eyes. I didn't put any pore filling primer, but I did put a mattifying primer, which is the Cover FX. You guys know that. I love this product. It looks a tad bit yellow for me, but we can make it work. I am usually skeptical when it comes to foundations that double up as a concealer because I feel like, you know, the coverage that I need for my face sometimes isn't the coverage that I need from a concealer. You know what I mean? When it comes to the face, I prefer kind of slightly, slightly lighter coverage. But with concealers, I expect a really good high full coverage, especially when I have acne and 
I'm also very picky in the sense that I need that concealer to really be flexible enough where it doesn't cling around my blemishes, the imperfections of my skin. Oh, this is a mattifying full coverage foundation because um, I kind of swatched it on my hands the other night with two other foundations, the Becca foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible foundation. And I find that it's a little bit more drying and mattifying than the other two. I usually apply my concealer next. So we'll do that. And then I use a damp beauty blender to blend under the eyes and also all over the face. Wow, it really covered the dark circles under my eyes right there. I do feel a little bit like a tad bit of heaviness on the face. Wow, it's doing a great job under the eyes. And I like this shade because it didn't just hide the bags and the dark circles around my eyes, but it actually brightened that area up. And then I just use the other side of my beauty blender to just kind of pounce in the foundation a little bit more help it melt into the skin a little bit better and become one with the skin as opposed to just sitting on top of the skin i'm gonna do my makeup off camera because i want to make this really um all about the foundation you know what i mean i'm gonna set it before you guys go i want to set it with the usual powders that i use today this is the color pop one i'm excited about this foundation guys it's a good makeup with skincare benefits which i love so let me just set the under eyes although i don't think it needs setting because it is mattifying enough but you know i always do this especially if i'm gonna apply eyeshadow here's my makeup look i have my full face on um i figured you know i would do a yellow look using the ColourPop aha honey palette and in combination with the ColourPop Mar palette. So, if you guys want a close up. And so now we just have to wait. It's exactly 12 noon here, according to my phone. And so I will check in with you guys in a couple of hours, maybe in about four hours, and let you know how this looks and how this wears throughout the day. Doesn't claim to be a 24 hour wear time, um, but it does say long lasting foundation. It has good coverage over blemishes. First impressions right now, it does feel a little bit heavy on my skin for my liking definitely full coverage foundation this is definitely like concealer material I don't know that I would love a concealer type of product all over my face because it can get a little too heavy right now it looks kind of like if you look right here um, it is a little bit porous my pores are showing a little too much on this side and a little bit on this side sometimes you know there are foundations that kind of look pretty thick and heavy in the beginning but after two hours or so you look like the girl next door and and so i'm really hoping that that's the case so i'm definitely looking for long wear but something that wears nicely so i'm seeing a little bit of creasing right now so I'll check back with you guys in about four hours and then we'll do it again after eight hours. So I'll probably be an oily mess, but hopefully you'll excuse that because I do have oily skin and no matter what type of foundation, I do blot throughout the day. So this is my four hour check-in. It's actually my five hour check-in. I think it's about, yeah, it's about five o'clock already. So thoughts about this foundation. It's not too, too bad. I am dewy in the center of my nose and on my chin. It's the same for any type of foundation. I'd be surprised if I wasn't that oily so you can kind of tell that I'm pretty shiny. During the two hour mark, it looked so beautiful. I was kind of getting nervous with this foundation, honestly, because I thought 
that it was gonna be too thick and heavy for the face. It was kind of accentuating the pores around my face initially. After two hours, you know, the foundation had a chance to kind of mix in with the oils in my skin. It kind of mattified my skin, but with a glow. And so it looked so pretty at the two hour mark. I mean, that's when I didn't have any of these oils on my nose. Um, and chin and in my forehead area you know when i didn't have any of those peeking through so it was really nice like it seemed like it was second skin and it looked so beautiful on the face now that it's around five hours which is actually pretty long you know what do you guys think um of course the foundation faded here i've been blowing my nose you know with allergies but um, I'm oily and the oils are peeking through, but it's not like the foundation is wearing off. Definitely a nice full coverage foundation. And during this time, usually I would touch up and use my Cover FX mattifying primer, I mean powder to remove the shine. So I'm gonna do that and then check in with you again at the six hour or eight hour mark. Uh, my blush is still on. No, it looks like a healthy, healthy skin to me. On camera, it's not showing that well, but in person, it looks really good. Let me get my blotting powder and I'll get back to you and show you what we're gonna start with from this point forward. I'm gonna blot my T-zone. Look at that. And after blotting, it just immediately renewed the makeup and it looks so much prettier right now minus the oils but with like perfected skin so i'm really loving how this looks it's my cover fx powder one of the best by the way for oily skin it just perfects the makeup and blurs all those pores so I'll see you back at 8 p.m. tonight and do an eight hour check-in. Sorry if you guys can hear my husband showering in the background, but we need to do this. This is my eight hour check-in. And looking at this closely, it looks still pretty good. My oils are peeking through again, but overall the foundation still looks good. And I don't know how it's translating on camera. It's probably not um, looking as good based on my monitor here it looks like i'm an oily mess but i really am not in person it still looks really good like none of the foundation has rubbed off my blemish marks are still completely covered which is amazing how good it's able to do that and keep it on for so long yes i have oiliness in here oiliness on my t-zone pretty much but the foundation is still fully intact which i am really surprised about because usually most foundations would be rubbed off by now after eight hours what i forgot to mention earlier too is that the foundation didn't accumulate around my smile line so around my nose this area and i was kind of you know worried a little bit because earlier on it was kind of accumulating into my fine lines, you know, my pore still looks really nice. It's not as accentuated as it was before when I first had the foundation on. Overall, I wouldn't say that this is like my favorite, favorite foundation. Another factor also is that I'm not like a full, full coverage kind of person. I am full coverage, but not on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not my 100% favorite, but it's definitely a great foundation. The wear time is really good. My face eats up foundation, I'm telling you now, and this one really stuck through it through throughout the day. So I am happy about this foundation. This is definitely the kind of foundation that I would wear at weddings, at you know special occasions, definitely. I feel like this is slightly, slightly heavier foundation than the Becca foundation, but even though it was heavy, it didn't really crease or accumulate on my fine lines, on my smile lines, or right here where I have kind of fine lines on my forehead. I would say this is like my top two 
top two favorite foundation. Can you believe that it's like a vegan, all natural foundation? So it's not gonna have those harsh chemicals or animal derivatives that are sometimes present in makeup. This is a great find. I'm glad that I got to try it. I am ready to take this off, this whole face off and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this review video on the Pure 4-in-1 Selfie Foundation. If you like this video or learned something, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews. Hope you guys have a great, great day, and I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!